What's up guys, welcome back to another video with the Math Maker. My name is Jordan and today we will be talking about decimals. Now decimals are usually smaller parts of a number, kind of like a fraction. Sometimes they can be bigger, but most of the time, no, all the time they're always smaller. Let me correct myself there. They're always smaller than a whole number. You cannot have a whole number decimal it always has to be a decimal a decimal is always smaller than a whole number whole number is like one two three and so on of course you could keep on going with whole numbers but today we'll be talking about decimals which are usually smaller parts of a number so since you have that a, fr there, a fraction and a decimal uh, is kind of the same so then it's really just showing you amount of a number. So then if you had one half, you could also have something. It would be equivalent to 50 hundredths. I know that just looks like a 50 with a dot on it. Let me make my dot bigger. bigger. But then this is showing a half of one number. One number. This number one is right now bigger than that 50 hundredths. Now, if we added another 50 hundredths, then we would get 100. Or when you put the decimal in, then you would have 1. Now, this would be equivalent to just this, 1. Because you had two decimals and they both were a half of a number. So if since you added both of those together, now you have one number. Of course, I can't tell you that without telling you how you would call your decimals. So then you have your hundred you have your hundredths place. Let me do my thousands first. You have your thousands, your hundredths. Your tens and then your ones. One, two, three. So then you have all of these. These can be like four thousand, four the thousands. This can be like 18, not 18, uh, 819. But then, what happens if you go to the other side of the number line? You usually think about decimals if you think about the other side, side of the number line. But when you continue, you would have this. Now this... Once that dot goes in front of it, now this is called, when you just have one number behind the decimal point, because that's what that's called, a decimal point. Usually, um, you would see a number in front of the decimal point, like 1, 10, 100, and 1,000, and so on. And that would be going left of the number line. But when you start to go right towards the number line, you start to have your tenths. You automatically skip your ones. Now this is turned right into tens. Since ones are always on, not the positive side, but more of the whole side, you would just skip that and go, and then here would be a zero right in the middle of both of them. And then you would skip right over to tens. And then now you put it. And then you put a decimal point, and you put a zero. And then after that, you just cover the tens place and turn it into 100. So this is a thousand. Hundred. 
tens, ones, tenths. The difference is in the name is that now you have a th and t. It actually spelled that wrong. It's more like this. T E and T H. You always add a T H to whatever the number is. Then you have hundreds. One. Sorry for that. Hun. Just just continue spelling the number the way you know how to. Dreads. But don't put the S there. Instead of putting the S, you would put a T H. And then you could keep on going. All you'd have to do is add one more zero. The next place you go, which would be the thousands, then ten thousands, then hundreds thousands. And then let me just show you what a 1,000 looks like. It looks more of like 100, but it's a 1,000. And then that's what 1,000 would look like. These, you can just keep on getting smaller and smaller the deeper you get into the number line with decimals. Now you can always add, subtract, multiply, and divide decimals. Of course, I'll be talking about that into another video. So then you can just keep on going back and forth. Whenever you're on the right side of the number line, you will just add TH to any num to any type of place you would have. So these are number places, technically. So if you have something like 8, don't put TH at the end. Just if you ever at the word, it out like tens, hundreds, thousands, and so on. Make sure you add your th. That's very important to add. So you're not in the whole numbers, but you're more into the decimals. So decimals can be point zero zero three. They can be any numbers, really. It's not really going to the negative side of numbers. It's more of just switching sides and going to parts of a number. So then you, fractions and decimals are actually very alike and same. So if you ever have to do a decimal and a fraction, you could. You could actually make equivalent um, decimals to fractions. So let's say a three fourth. Now if I multiply four times twenty-five, that equal a hundred. This is going to help you into another lesson that I'm gonna do soon. And then I do twenty-five up here, and then I get seventy-five. Now, for my decimal, if um, they make an equivalent decimal, now I would have 70. Five hundredths. And then if I kept on going, um, you of course, you'd get more numbers. But then, keeping it like that, this is your number. Of course, if I had 25, then I... Nah, then I would have one, one whole number, but then it would stay like that for the remainder of the time. And decimals are, like I said, parts of a number, smaller pieces. They're always a smaller piece of a number. They're not like fractions, which you can have improper. You can have something like this, one and eight, and 80, 90, hundredths, but you can never have a decimal that is somehow bigger than 
a whole number. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and tap the notification bell if you if this is your first video. Thank you for watching and have a good day.